I remember when I was at LSU, I wanted to be a little bit different. When we were headed to conference, I knew it was going to be on ESPN. So I hit up my my homegirl, uh, Deja Green, and she she's a like a, a designer, creative designer. And I was like, look, like I got these spikes. I want to, you know, Kobe is my hero, my favorite athlete. So I want to try to incorporate something Kobe Bryant into my spikes. So I sent them out to her a couple weeks before a conference, and she sent them back, and she did the – the Grinch Kobe 16 on my spikes mm. and I stepped out, you know, it was like pre me day and I broke them out. No, no, my teammates ain't seen them coaches. Nobody saw them. And I broke them out. Everybody like, yo, like what you, bro? like, you know what I'm saying? And it was a, it was a big thing. And dudes still like come up to me now. Like, bro, I still remember the spikes that you were at SEC's, bro. Those was crazy. So, uh, you know, I still got them. I still got them with me. The, the vintage Kobe six Grinch, uh, uh, Spike, man, you know, so that was probably like my favorite memory from conference. You got anything though? Yeah, yeah, I got one. Uh, so this was uh, my what was this 2018, my junior year of, of college. So the year before, I um, this is the NEC, I no heighted and we ended up losing the conference championship, which would have been the first time we've won in 19 years by eight points. And I was projected to win, which gets 10 points. So I felt like shit. Uh, so it's like if I had just done that and I was a captain of the team, uh, you know, a sophomore captain of the team, you know, so I was like, I took, I, I took it really bad on myself, really, really poorly. Uh, and ended up, that's not the fun. That's not the story. Uh, just set the scene of where it was. The, we have, I want to go to what the actual story is my junior year. So uh, junior year, it's at home conference championship. And so we're uh, – it's like a terrible rainy day, like the, both days for a conference championship. Uh, and so we're, we're competing, and we're projected to get probably third. We're not looking to do, to do too well. Um, and so we're, we're going through and, and competing. The one thing I didn't mention lat in my sophomore year was when I no heighted, like I just like – started pouting. I was a jerk. I, I just made it all about me. Like I went into the corner. I didn't pay attention. I didn't help the teammates out. I was just like upset at myself and I didn't help the team at all. Uh, coach was not happy about that as I'm sure you could probably imagine. Uh, and then junior year. So unfortunately I know how to begin. It didn't, it didn't go well. Uh, but like I took it differently where it was like, all right, I didn't do what I needed to do, but I'm not going to let that stop me from making sure that this team like does what we want to do. So like, I'm still cheering all my teammates, helping them out. Uh, and so we're, it's looking really good. It started raining. We're down by, uh, we're down by eight again, going into the four by four. It's been pouring rain this entire time. Uh, and so right now, like our coach is like, look, we're down eight. They had a, they, one of our multi-athletes, he was our best athlete he, um, that we had. He had already done five events at this point. He had done pole vault, high jump, 100, 200, four by one already uh, at this at this event. And there, our coach looked over and he was like, look, DJ, shout out DJ. Uh, we need you in this four by four, man. Like, we need you to do this. And so um, he's like, he ran, he's done five events. He's like dead. He's not in the, a really great spot to do it. He's like, all right, I'll do what you need, coach. He gets in this four by four. Uh, and we so they're like not only do we need to win but we need to beat the team that is ahead of us which was central connecticut by three places because they were in first like just point wise we need to win and we need to beat them by enough so we're lined up it's been pouring rain the second that the the official says like runners to your mark the rain stops and the sun comes out it was out of a movie wild stuff it's like to your mark set Bang, they go. We're running uh, the fir our first leg. He was a freshman uh, at the time. He's holding the baton. It's super close. And then they gives it to our DJ, who is our, you know, our, our multi. He gets ahead. We get in the first place. Um, the team that we need to come in fourth place is in second, though, at the time. We just passed them. We keep going around. Uh, then our third place baton, he's our number one, our number one 100 meter runner. He had the, the school record. Uh, at the time, Justin Kimball, he gets it, keeps up, extends this lead. So now we're really, really far ahead, passes the baton to my roommate, uh, Andrew, who then continues, brings it home. And so we win. And so we're all cheering. But then like our coach is like, wait, 
we have to like still look to see what happened. And uh, it was a super close race between third and fourth. It was between Wagner and Central Connecticut. They both leaned at the line at like the same time, and we didn't know who ended up getting it. So our hearts are like racing as like because it's taking prop what felt like an eternity, like to actually show the results. And like they, it only has it on like the LED screen. It shows like Mount St. Mary's wins, like this, you know, uh, who was it second? I can't remember. I mean, Sacred Heart second. Uh, and then so we're like, please. Please say that Wagner was third place so that Central Connecticut doesn't win. It said Wagner third. Team was crazy. <laughs> we're, just, we're just going nuts. Like, holy crap. You would have thought we won the freaking Super Bowl or national championship, man. Uh, first conference championship in 20 years. I uh, still got the ring. It's not here with me. It's at, it's at the office. But uh, super, super great moment. Just like bringing it home with the team, uh, winning that. I know I didn't do what I wanted to do, but it was great to still have the, the team get it. So that was a, that was a cool moment for sure. Yeah, man, you showed some growth too. Congrats on the title too. <laughs> yeah, that was good. That was good. Yeah, that story had my heart beat, man. I was nervous for y'all. He's <laughs> like, dang, I'll, you know, pick it up. Yo, yo, speed it up there, man. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, Awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed another episode of our Track World News podcast. Like we said, conference championships are happening this upcoming weekend. So on Sunday, we'll break it all down for you uh, of what's going on, what was our some of our biggest takeaways and previewing what NCAAs could potentially be. So uh, any last words for the people, man? Thanks for checking us out, man. You know, keep coming back. I'll see you next week, though, Colin. All right. Peace. Peace, brother.